My name is Dale Kerrigan, and this is my story. The Castle is a classic Australian comedy, one recommended to me for ages oddly by Kiwi friends. Having spent some of my childhood in Australia and experiencing Aussie humor as a kid with its rather freewheeling, scatological side, it took a few years for me to dip my toes in the water here. But what I got was an adorable, heartfelt film about a man fighting to preserve his rundown house and preserve his warm family life, despite relentless outside pressures. The plot's pretty standard. Big evil company wants to buy and evict a little guy from his beloved family home. Local government won't help him, so the little guy struggles to find a way to protect his lifestyle, and that of his neighbors as well. It could be any number of films, including a couple I've actually reviewed on this channel. What makes this one special is the intense kindness of its hero, Daryl Kerrigan. He wildly compliments his wife's cooking, which is much the back of the tin food can variety. What do you call that, Dal? Sponge cake. Beautiful. And what's that stuff on top? Icing sugar. Now why would you want to go out to a restaurant when this keeps coming up night after night? He's inordinately but genuinely proud of every single thing his family does, even though that's not much. Dad reckons the day Trace told him she'd been accepted into Sunshine Tafe hairdressing was about the proudest day of his life. Dad never stops marvelling at Steve's ideas. He's an ideas man, Steve. Every time he receives a gift or someone wins a recognition, he declares that it'll be enshrined in the house's man cave as the highest honor possible. That is a collector's honor. He champions all of his neighbors as equals in the fight that he's leading to save their homes. I saw this by chance back to back with the sweet and patient French-American movie The Southerner, also reviewed on my channel, and the much darker Australian comedy Muriel's Wedding, which had been strongly recommended to me as a person passionate about both Australia and ABBA, who is the greatest pop group of all time. The Southerner and The Castle paired perfectly, both intensely sincere movies about a man fighting to save his unimpressive little home against bigger pressures, and triumphing because of love. Muriel's Wedding, which is a good movie but was marketed unfortunately as a comedy when it's actually pretty heavy fare, similarly dealt with family strife in a seaside town. That time it was the outskirts of Sydney as opposed to The Castle's Melbourne. There's stuff I really dig about the dark Australian films. Dead in Drive-In is a brilliant, brilliant movie, as are the first two Mad Max films or Animal Kingdom, etc., etc. But contrasted with the family love and joy of the castle, poor Muriel paled in comparison. Apples to oranges, I guess. But I prefer pears. Back in 1982, as a joking entry into a competition to replace Advance Australia Fair as the national anthem, a Melbourne satirical theater group wrote a song called Give Me a Home Amongst the Gum Trees. The song became a hit by the bush band Bulabakanka eventually. As tongue-in-cheek as the song was originally meant, it captures the Australian dream, and that's quite different from the American white picket fence. The dialogue in the castle is consistently funny, with the catchphrases gaining power as the movie wears on. What's he want? 180. He's dreaming. How much? 800. Dreaming. Tell him he's dreaming. This is going straight to the pool room. This is going straight to the pool room. Yeah, he loved the serenity of the place. How's the serenity? I think he also just loved the word. So much serenity. How's the serenity? Not a sound. The plot will surprise you, or would have surprised you if you hadn't watched this video, with its uplifting twists. Sure, the Kerrigans are unsophisticated and some of your laughs are at their expense. I mean, now that is a head of hair. Just beautiful. Thanks, Dad. But it's never in a mean-spirited way. Dad could not believe his luck when he found this place. It was a bargain, and he couldn't work out why. It was just a block of land with a beautiful view. 
In spite of their colorful life choices, the movie simultaneously giggles at their eccentricities and celebrates their selflessness, and the selflessness of other characters, from neighbors to sleazy lawyers to judges on the high court. That's what this is all about. Being just. Australia, if nothing else, is a remarkably open country. If you go from town to town in the middle of nowhere, everyone is keen to tell you how wonderful their 200-person village is, and that you just need to spend at least three days there to appreciate it. The castle, set in a row of run-down houses in the shadow of an airport, exemplifies that side of Australia. Be it ever so humble, give me a home among the gum trees, even if there's constant noise from the airport. <laughs> 